Executive Commission on Women in the Draft is hereby called to order. Our first witness, Colonel Margaret Ann Jessup, U.S. Army Nurse Corps, retired, will make the opening remarks. Colonel Jessup. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It has long been the contention of those who oppose women in the draft that should women be captured, they would break. Well, the fact is, women have been prisoners of war, and their experiences are a testimony to their strength, endurance, and courage. 104 Army and Navy nurses stationed on the Philippines were incarcerated by the Japanese between 1942 and 1945. Yet their courage has been virtually invisible to the public and has gone unrecognized by the military. In December of 1941, I was stationed at Camp Pershing on the island of Luzon in the Philippines. Located near the resort town of Rosario, the camp was used for what today is called R&R, &R, or rest and relaxation. It was paradise. Okay, let's get to the good part. Mm. Mm. Me first. Mm. Would you open the box already? The suspense is killing me. Don't rush me. This is my first wedding. My grandmother moved faster on her diamond jubilee. Mm. Oh, Gracie, it's so religious. Beautiful. I love it, thank you. Here. I was going to apologize for not having it wrapped, but seeing how fast you open presents, I think we all made out. <laughs> it's a Greek fertility oh. god. It looks like a hat rack. Yeah, well, if worse comes to worse, you always can hang your jewelry on it. Hey. Look, bite your tongue. You know, I met this intern at Walter Reed once. He invited me up to his place to see this ancient Buddha. He said if you wanted something really bad, all you had to do was make a wish, and rub it Gracie! Belly, what is wrong with you? Nothing, honey. Just a bunch of dirty minds. Oh, you're all so wonderful. I really wish I didn't have to resign to get married, because I'm going to miss you all so much. I can't take this anymore. What are you doing? But just, just open the box already. It's Lovely. It's black. Sure, I bet I'd look great in this. I had to find a white one, but I couldn't. No, long I thought you were a virgin. I am. Well, look at it this way. If there's a war, there are bound to be blackouts. And if there are blackouts, keep it right in fashion. <laughs> okay, I'll leave it to you to see war as a fashion experience. <laughs> mm. Lizette. Maggie, open up. It's Helen. Coming. <coughs> Helen, do you realize what time? The Japs have bombed Pearl Harbor. The Japanese didn't stop at Pearl Harbor. Later that morning, they hit Clark Field in the Philippines, where Helen's fiance Chris and my Tom flew with the 17th Pursuit Squadron. MacArthur had grounded all our planes, so when the Japs came in, it was like shooting ducks in a penny arcade.
buy a meat bottle for me there. All right, here we go. I'll monitor him for 24 hours. We need some more sterile bandages down there. See if you can find some. That's good, yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, that's all right. 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 Yeah, that's all here I am, practically giving it away to find a hunk like that. Miss Goody Two Shoes over here walks away with the prize without so much as lifting a hem. What happened? So, Mata Hari, what's your secret? How'd you meet this heartbreaker? He just showed up, began helping me with the wounded. Then, when the planes came in on their strafing run, I hit the ground. I wasn't really sure what was going on. I turned to ask him what we should do. And being a soldier and all, I looked up to ask him what we should do. He'd been hit. Right below the eye. The side of his face was blown away. He wasn't falling. He was just standing. Then he kind of half turned and fell. Someone was screaming at me to stay down, but all I could do was look at him. Honey, I'm so sorry. I'm a nurse. I should have done something, but I couldn't. No, Grace, you did exactly what any one of us would have done under the same circumstances. You're being much too hard on yourself. I was scared to death. The way you ran out from under that truck, I never would have known. I had no choice. I'm claustrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done if they assigned you to Tunnel Hospital in Corregidor? They did. No. I got out of it. I said I'd kill myself first. It's a wonder they didn't ship you home on a Section 8. Sent me here instead. Said the rest would do me good. Oh, oh. good. <laughs> <laughs> One more week and we would have been married. Just one more week. What's important is that he loves you. I know that. I just can't help thinking that if we had been, I'd feel much better now. Believe me, it's just a piece of paper. It's not a painkiller. Yeah? What do you mean? Tom and I were married last summer. You were married? No, no, I'm gone. We went for vacation. Oh, why didn't you tell me? I wanted to, but... I just, I didn't want you to have to lie for me. I can't believe it. I mean, I just assumed that you would be in for life. <laughs> so did I until I met Tom. What about your career? I don't have to be in the military to be a nurse. No, of course not. So what are we going to tell them? Well, we planned to tell them when Tom's tour was up. So you think they're all right? Sure, I think they're fine. For the next two weeks, the Japs hit us with everything they had. Morale plummeted. My girls never let it show. Then on the 22nd of December, they invaded the Lingayan Gulf. It was total chaos, men in trucks and cars, on horseback and on foot, racing south to Bataan. Miss Jessup? Miss Jessup? Yes. Name's John Rader. Colonel Morton ordered me to evacuate you and your team immediately. To where? Bataan. Why Bataan? It's the only place we can defend. What about our patients? They're being shipped to a hospital in San Manuel. Wh why aren't we going there? Look, ma'am, you're the last of the nurses. I've been ordered to get you out. Now, there's a Jap battalion a couple of miles from here, and I ain't even got enough guys to play them in baseball. Somebody has to stay with the wounded. You want to stay here and be taken prisoner? That's your business. Either way, I'm leaving in 15 minutes. Let's go, ladies. Let's go. Let's go. Be careful with that stuff, you yeah. guys. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. Come on, Jessica. Wake up. We're almost pulling out. No! Hold it. I'm still missing one of my girls. That's a mortar, and it's not ours. Just a minute more. Look, we are never going to catch that kind of boy as it is. Now, either we pull out now or start waving a white flag, and I'm not about to surrender. 60 seconds is not going to... That does it. Ramos! No, then you're going to have to leave without me. Never... Here she comes! Sorry! Now. As soon as you're ready. What happened to you? I forgot something. What could have been so important? A woman after...
after my own heart. Slow down before you get us killed. They're dead than the Japs. The Japs are miles behind us. Then who are they? Look out, look out, you're gonna hit them! Of course I'm gonna hit them! And he's dead. Jerry cans. Ladies first. You think they were on a picnic? You can turn around then. What the hell's going on? I've been following Tojo over here for the last few hours. It looked like he was going to take a few prisoners, so I slowed him down a little. And who are you? T.J. Nolan. I was a rigger with Ramtech until the Japs blew it up. Had to have a swim, didn't you, Jessica? I knew something like this would happen. Well, come on, let's get out of here before his buddies come looking for him. You can join us if you like. Give him a hand, will you, Ramos? Yes, sir. Nolan! Since when did a tough outfit like Ramtech start hiring boys to do a man's work? I'm not a boy. We reached the Bataan Peninsula in hospital number three on New Year's Eve. There was nowhere left to run. Radar took off with Ramos for parts unknown, while Nolan figured she'd be safer with us. We worked 20 hour days and lived on half rations for the next two months. When we ran out of supplies, we improvised. Jungle vines for traction, banana leaves for beds, gasoline cans for stoves. Some of the girls came down with malaria, but somehow morale stayed high. Then in March, the bottom fell out. MacArthur had been ordered to Australia. The President of the United States ordered me to break through the Japanese lines and proceed from Corregidor to Australia for the purpose, as I understand it, of organizing the American offensive against Japan. 
a primary objective of which is the relief of the Philippines. I came through and I shall return. You have been listening to an address by General Douglas MacArthur. We now return you. I knew it. He's gone to get reinforcements. I don't believe it. We'll believe it. The rats are leaving the ship and the King Rat just got off first. You're out of line, Nolan. I know General MacArthur. He would never have left if he wasn't ordered out. I bet he'll be back before we know it. Why don't you guys just face it? MacArthur has left us holding the bag. What us? You're not a nurse. You're not a soldier in the way you're acting. I don't even think you're an American. That's enough. It's all over but the shouting. I can't believe that. Haven't you heard the song that's going around? We're the battling bastards of Bataan. No mamas, no papas, no Uncle Sam. Don't you get it? Nobody's coming because nobody gives a damn! Nolan, we don't need you to spell it out for us. We're not blind. No, you're just deaf! We hear what we need to hear. Oh, and even if it means lying to yourselves, right? All we've got is hope. And what happens when that runs out? Then we've got each other. And if you can't understand that, then maybe it's better if you go it alone. Fine. I will. Hey, you mind if I have a drag of that? <laughs> Afraid you're gonna have to do it for me. Thanks. Seems the only thing I can still work is my mouth. What's a nice looking girl like you doing in a place like this? It's the only finishing school I could get into. <laughs> hey, did you get the word on the, that scuttlebutt about Doug out Doug leaving the rock? Yeah, I just heard him on the radio. From Australia. Well, I guess that does it for me then, huh? I mean, with MacArthur gone, Japs are gonna hit us with everything they got. Unless the ships come in. There aren't any ships. Screw them. Hey. I got a hot flash for you. The ships are coming. That's why MacArthur left. I went to organize a rescue. Don't lie to me. I'm not lying. He said, I shall return. So, he's coming back. You can count on it. I shall return. I shall return. <laughs> After MacArthur left, things calmed down for a while. Nightly bull sessions were filled with talks of food and rumors of rescue. For the first time since Pearl, we began to hope. Perhaps the ships would come after all. John. Maybe I won the Irish sweet <laughs> Maybe you did, and you have to take us all out for a night on the town. It's bad. Say it. You've been drafted. <laughs> Mac, I've been drafted. <laughs> Tom, isn't it? Well, what happened? Come on. How did you manage to get in here? We're completely surrounded. Huck brought us in. 
Chris and I joined him after the planes were destroyed. I thought that the Hawks hated Americans. Well, they do, not as much as they hate the Japanese. Let me take a look at you. Well, the face is familiar, but where did you come up with this getup? What do you mean? I kind of like it. It hides a multitude of sins. <laughs> what sins? You're all skin and bones, Meg. You're not exactly chubby yourself. Come here, skinny. I was so afraid you'd be killed. Killed? <laughs> killed. Meg, I was born to die in bed. You beside me. I'm gonna hold you to that. You do that. Chris and Helen, since you wish to contract holy matrimony, please join your right hands and express your intention before God and His church. Helen, do you take Chris here present for your lawful husband according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? I do. And Chris, do you take Helen here present for your lawful wife according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. Yay! Yay! Don't worry. What do you know about surviving in the jungle? You're a pilot. Well, I don't know. The Hucks will teach me. They scare me. Oh, yeah, they scare me, too. But if I got to be grounded, I'd rather be with them than any other outfit in this war. Besides, I'm a very fast learner. You should know that. I'd like you to have my, my West Point ring and my father's watch for safekeeping. No. I'd feel a lot better if you took them. It's like saying you're never going to come back. Okay, I'll bring him back myself. Aina! Aina! Donna Lilo! By April 8th, the Japs had broken through on all fronts. We were out of everything. Food, morphine, hope. Doctor, the artery in the leg is bleeding again. Plasma, stats! There isn't any. What are you talking about? I looked to my knees in blood. That was the last of it. Get in here. I'm not sterile. Get in here. <sighs> Press on that bleeder so I can see what I'm doing. No, I'm not a nurse. I don't need a nurse. I need an extra finger. You got one of those, don't you? Now I know how the Dutch kid felt when he tried to hold back the dike with his finger. <laughs> what a way to make a living. You know, you'd make a wonderful nurse. You're a natural with an eighth grade education. Ellen? So you go back to school. You're still young. Not anymore. Maggie. Maggie. 
Pack your gear and get the nurses. You're being evacuated at Corregidor. When? Immediately. What's happening? I just We're saw being Helen. evacuated to Tunnel Hospital. Not me. What about you? What about our patients? There aren't enough boats. Then you better call the general and tell him we're not going. Look, I wasn't going to tell you this, but we're surrendering Bataan in the morning. Surrendering Bataan? You either leave now or you'll be taken prisoner. You're needed on Corregidor. Myself. I can't even go to the latrine without help. What do you think the Japs are going to do to me? Well, then we'll get you to Corregidor right away. No, why? It's going to fall. You know it. Please give me something I can fight with. I can't. To ask somebody else. I have. You're my last hope. I'm begging you. Let me die like a soldier. I need a little more retraction right here. Another hand stand. Oh, no. I can't see. I need some lights in Light. here now. Thank you. Give me another hand stand. What, did you think I'd leave and miss all the fun? After three months under constant and grueling enemy fire, we had finally surrendered. Our boys had stood their ground, throwing themselves at the enemy when they had run out of ammunition. Now, it was over.
surrender. It's okay. Oh, ah, 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 for the love of God, no! Ah, ah, Okay, close out together, everybody, close out together. Close out. Hurry up. Hurry up, please. Hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Move. And put your hand over your head, just like this. Okay? All right, up, up. Okay? And make more depressed. All right? Make more depressed. All right, don't move. Do that. We never made it to Manila, where all our fellow nurses would be interned. Instead, we ended up on one of the many death marches that would take place throughout the war. Six days to the rail station at San Miguel, a trek that would be measured in lives, not miles.
me to start it. Didn't say anything. Stop it. up hot on our best china. <laughs> what about you? I've already eaten. Thanks. feel clean again. All you need is time. I don't think I'm going to make it, Maggie. You have to. I'll help you. We'll help each other.
Nakayama, your camp commander. Our rules are simple. We'll salute and bow to all Japanese military personnel, regardless of rank. We will obey all orders without hesitation. Any resistance will be met by force. The punishment for escape is death. The bulk of the food you grow here will feed the Imperial Japanese forces in the Philippines. Any excess over your quota will be yours. If nothing remains, you will starve. In the Japanese army, to be taken prisoner while still able to resist is considered a criminal act. Suicide, rather than surrender, is preferred. Reflect upon this when you consider your situation. Off, has she? Afraid so. Don't be. It's a blessing. The Japanese are a superstitious lot. Possession and insanity to them are one and the same. She'll have nothing to fear from them. But won't they just kill her? Gracious, no. They'd be terrified that her devil's spirit would possess them. I'm Judith Easton. My husband, Lord Cecil Easton, was the former director of the Batangas Agricultural Station. Maggie Jessup, this is Helen Wyatt. Pleasure. Lord Easton? That makes you a lady, doesn't it? In Batangas, my dear, we're all ladies. I'm Nolan. And that's Catherine Grace. We call her Gracie. I don't suppose any of you were able to pick up some food along the way. We passed a horn and hard art, but they wouldn't let us stop. We were lucky to get by some water. I noticed that there aren't any children here. Were they taken away from you? No. All the women with children were taken to the Santo Tomas University in Manila. Are we the only army nurses here? The only nurses and the only female military personnel. I'm Molly Carstairs. My husband John and I own a sugar plantation near here. You don't have any other medical stuff? There is a civilian doctor, Charles Morgan, in the main compound. He comes whenever he can, but it's not enough. Between the berry, berry, dengue, fever, dysentery, and malaria, we're losing at least one of us per day. Where's the hospital? In the men's compound. They have an area they like to call a hospital, but it's really just a place to die. Wow. 
Why does the camp commander speak with an American accent? He's a countryman of yours. He's an American? Born in San Francisco, I believe. You're kidding. He was studying in Japan when he was inducted into the military service. I don't think he had a choice. How come you know so much about this guy? Know thine enemy. At least he's an American. I shouldn't expect too much from that. He is, as you say, between a rock and the hard place. His men won't trust him because he's American, and we can't trust him because he's Japanese. It's not him I'd be worried about if I were you. It's Kodama. Who? That terrible little man who was going to kill your friend. You made him lose face in front of his commanding officer. He'll never forgive you for that. Ohio. Cincinnati. Hmm? Ohio. Cincinnati. I'm from Cincinnati. Sing? <laughs> What's so funny? Ohio in Japanese means good morning. <laughs> good night, sweetheart. Till we meet tomorrow. I can't believe that. Good night, sweetheart. I'd like to give them all a good night permanently. Don't let it bother you, my dear. It's just their way of lowering our morale. How much lower do they think we can go? A thousand times lower. That's how many records they found when they took over the camp. Oh, that's just great. I never paid much attention to the hit parade before I got in this dung hole. And now I'm going to become an expert. Thanks. Night. Good night, my dear. Maggie? Mm hmm. You sleep yet? No, I'm still awake. You and Tom ever think about having kids? That's why we got married. Chris and I wanted kids. We talked about it all the time. You're still young. There'll be somebody else. No, there won't. There'll never be anyone else. Helen, don't think like that. Really, it's just going to make things much worse. Try to get some sleep, OK? They're hauling stuff in these blankets. What a great way out of here. Only if you're dead, my dear. That's the morning burial to tell you. How can you be so sure? I'm as regular as clockwork. But you know that stress sometimes. Beginning today, all work parties will be divided into groups of ten. The color armbands you've been given will help us expedite executions in the event of escapes. The mathematics are simple. If one prisoner in a work party escapes, the remaining nine will be shot. If all ten escape, a hundred will be executed. <laughs> Oh, 
I got an idea. Let's take some of this corn back to camp and start our own garden. How? Good idea. ため見たそれ。お前はこいつを殴れ。お前はこいつを殴るんだ。二人で考えを殴り合うんだ。これで。What Satisfaction. Do it or he'll kill us both. Harder. Harder. There's a man in the men's compound. He says he's your husband. Tom Patterson? That's right. Is he all right? I'm afraid not. He's in the zero ward. What's that? Zero chances of survival. I'm going. Get out of my way. No, 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 no. Go with me. You're hurting me. Nobody's no, 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 trying to hurt you. We're trying to keep you from getting killed. Crazy. We really can't. All right, let me ask you all just one question. If someone you loved were there, what would you do? If you could have been with Chris before he died, would you let anyone or anything stop you? Would you? Are you crazy? She'll get us all killed. You heard what Nakayama said about escaping. I'm not escaping. Let her go. No. Look, you can't hold on to me forever. You're all insane. Well, if you won't listen to me. Hey, 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 hey back off, because Maggie's going. And if you run to the Japs, you're going to deal with me. And me. And me as well. Thank you. All of you. Give him my love. I'm going to go with you. No. Someone's got to distract the guards.
Maggie. Is it really you? Were you expecting someone else? How did you get in here? That's not important. What's important is that we're together. Are you in pain? No, no. I was hoping you got out. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. I want you to do something for me. Name it. When you get back when home. When we get back home. When you get back home. I want you to find somebody else. I don't want you to give up. Look who's talking about giving up. Well, what about that promise that you made to me? That we were going to die together in bed after we made love. <laughs> OK, OK. I'm feeling stronger already. It's better. I love you, Maggie. I love you, too. You kiss so good. <laughs> Once again, Nakayama had saved my life. However, this time I wasn't sure he had done me a favor. Tom was dead, and now more than ever, Kadama was my sworn enemy. very foolish thing you did, risking your life to be with your husband. Kodama could have shot you on the spot. It's just as foolish as risking your life for an emperor. Emperor Hirohito is a living god. My husband wasn't such a bad guy either. Your lack of respect and sentimentality is typically American. 
You should know. I'm Japanese. What we do is out of duty, not emotion. A lesson you do well to learn. I'm putting you in charge of the woman's compound. I don't understand. As of today, as ranking female officer, I'm putting you in charge of the female prisoners. You'll help me bring in the crops. I'm a nurse, not a farmer. Nevertheless, you're in charge. Then why don't you put me in charge of something I can do? Give me a hospital. You have a hospital. A place to die. Enough of this. I'm putting you in charge, and that's final. Disobey, and all your people will suffer. So let's take it. Please. You do it. What is she trying to do? Get herself killed? What do you think you're doing? You're here to work. Now do it. Here. What if it's Chris? What if it isn't? You lost him once. Are you willing to lose him again? They run the resistance operation in this area and from time to time leave us things in the fields. Food, medicine, news of the war. They're a fierce lot. The Japanese are frightened Excuse to me. I, too, am a big fan of National Geographic. And I'm sure that the Hucks are a real interesting bunch of primitives. But could we just open the package now? <laughs> <laughs> Invaded This is, this is the sword of the samurai. One who lives by the code of Bushido. One who'd rather die than live in shame. It's been in my family for 400 years. My father and mother lived by that code. And now, because of your president, They've died by it. I don't understand. All Japanese Americans have been placed in concentration camps. Not because of crimes against their flag, but because of the color of their skin. My father and mother chose not to endure that shame. I'm truly sorry about what happened to your parents. But killing us won't bring them back. And. Your parents chose to take their own lives. Here we have no choice. There's always a choice. Not for us. Either your men kill us or you leave us to rot in that excuse you call a hospital. And you know that suicide's not an option for us. You know our values. They're yours. I'm Japanese! You shouldn't be ruled by your emotions. Please, stop the killing. So they take it.
Baby, sir. I understand that one of your nurses has given birth to a baby. Yes, last night. A little girl. And his father? He was a captain in the Army Air Corps. He died in Bataan. As soon as you can get them ready, I'll have Kodama take them to the civilian camp at Santo Tomas. That may not be for a few months. That's impossible. It was a very difficult This birth. is no place for a baby. Or an adult, for that matter. But if you move the mother and the child now, they'll both die. They're suffering from malnutrition. I'll give you a month. Kodama could take them to Manila. We'll never get to Manila alive. Kodama will walk us to death just for spite. We've got a month. We'll get you out of here. How? The gorillas. We'll leave them a note. Oh, well, we found the radio. First anniversary of the fall of Patan. <laughs> I love you. 
love you. Baby, Baby. okay? Mm -hmm. Hey. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Huh? Ah, kawaii da. Ah, kawaii da. Ah! Ah! Hi. Hi. Let's go. Hi. Hi da. Hi. Oh no, that's a dangerous scenario. Ah! Hi. Ah! Hold the bar. Hi. Hold the bar. Hi. ちょっと for me I've ordered the warehouse cleared do whatever you like with it thank you we finally got our hospital a week later, we received word that Helen and the baby had made it. During the next year of captivity, life in Batangas became almost tolerable. Two months after Nakayama let us set up a hospital, we celebrated our first 24 hours without a death. Taking charge of the PA speakers came next. At first, I was against doing Nakayama's dirty work, but Nolan convinced me otherwise. Using records, we were able to pass on more news to the camp. They'll always be in England meant that the British were still hanging on. Walsy Matilda meant that the Australians were working with us, and so on.
In March of 44, Gail Polson arrived from Mindanao, where she had been taken prisoner after escaping from Corregidor. Haggard and drawn, she'd finally run out of lipstick. Following a poor spring harvest, the camp was put on half rations. Starvation ran rampant as deaths from dry berry berry reached epidemic proportions. With no medical supplies of any consequence, animal protein became our only chance for survival. Once again, Nakayama came to the rescue. You getting anything on the radio? I'm worried about Gail. If she doesn't eat soon, she won't make it. Princess Gail won't eat, huh? Well, maybe you'd rather we sent out to a restaurant for some chicken soup, or better yet, a drugstore for some lipstick. We wouldn't want our fashion plate looking too pale when we bury her. Just let me die in peace. Well, why didn't you say so? What the hell do you think you're doing? We cannot let a good pair of shoes go to waste, Gail. nuts! No, I'm alive! Well, so am I! Well, then you're gonna need this. Don't you think you were just a little hard on her? Got her to eat, didn't I? The Allies have invaded Normandy. The Allies have invaded Normandy! To start the morning off, an oldie but a goodie. That old World War I classic, over there. Tojo.
know about the records. What do records have to, have to do with that? Where's the radio? The radio. What radio? Hey, Zuzu, give us some. Whose is it? I don't know. Whose is it? I don't know. Once more. Who does this radio belong to? It's mine. <gasps> well, the truth now, she dies. It's mine. The radio's mine. I brought it with me from Mindanao. Slant it again! The radio was not hers. We got it from the gorillas long before she even arrived at the camp. Please, take her down. Any day now, everything's gonna be over. What will you gain by taking her life? Did anyone ever tell you you look great without makeup? You're a real beauty inside and out. Shh, listen. Flames, just flames. No, no, it sounds like tanks. You know what they do? It's okay, 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 Either you come out unarmed and surrender immediately, or we're coming in. You've got ten minutes. Please, don't hurt him. I'll take care of it. You're not insane. Up here, Sergeant. Over oh, there, down on that ass. Right. On the tree line. Down. What the hell? Lieutenant Margaret Jessup, U.S. Army Nurse Corps. What are you doing here? All you women were supposed to be liberated at Santa Tomas. <sighs> Not all of us. If you don't allow the Japanese to leave with their weapons and give them a four-hour head start, they'll kill over a hundred hostages. Are you nuts? The general would have my hide if I did that. Who's going to have over a hundred corpses if you don't? I would like you to have this. I can't. Please. I can't. It's been in your family for hundreds of years. It should be for your sons. There won't be any. If you don't take it, it'll hang on the wall of a stranger's house who'll lie about how he won it in battle. The samurai sword belongs with the samurai. But I'm a woman. 
and a samurai like my mother. Please. What would your father have thought? He would be honored. That was the last time I saw Nakayama. A few days later, we heard that he had died the way he wanted to, like a samurai. Two years, ten months, and twenty-four days, we were finally free. Of the 104 Army and Navy nurses incarcerated by the Japanese during the war, not one failed to survive the ordeal. For that, we were awarded the Bronze Star for gallantry. The Bronze Star without the V for valor. I would like to ask the committee. Were we not valorous? Were those who risked everything to preserve life any less courageous than those that carried a weapon? How does one measure courage? I can only speak from my own experience. You measure against yourself. And that can only be done once you strip away civilization. Plain courage is a shining thing when you see it. A glowing reflection of the spirit of those women with whom I served.